So, you want to make a Minecraft server, but you don't want to expose any IPs. And you also want to have your own custom domain. That's a desire that many people have, but there aren't many tutorials on YouTube about that, so I decided to make one. Just a note, this is a Linux tutorial, but some of the um, concepts in this do uh, you know, transfer over to Windows if you're running a Windows Minecraft server. Although I do recommend using Linux for Minecraft servers in the first place because it's just reliable and efficient and it's just good. If you want to know how to set up a Linux uh, PC, um, it's really easy, just there's a bunch of YouTube tools. Um, I'm, I'm using a Debian system um, that's hosted in the cloud just for this tutorial. I just temporarily set it up, but I recommend using something like Ubuntu Server. Um, anyway, yeah, um, I speak kind of fast in this video because I recorded what I did before I recorded what I said. So I didn't really account for, you know, how fast I was doing things. So just, you know, if you if you get lost in what I'm saying, just look on the screen, I guess. <laughs> and, and good luck. So first, we're going to run sudo apt update. This is going to update our sources list that when we install packages, they'll all be up to date and at the current version. Then we're going to install tmux, this is basically a tool that allows you to run terminal sessions in the background so when you disconnect, say if you're using SSH, they'll keep running. This is very important for running a Minecraft server. Um, just a little note here, I forgot to actually record the process of installing Java, which is critical for a Minecraft server. But basically what you're going to want to do is run sudo apt install um, openjdk-17 dash jre dash headless and that'll just install it for you so yeah um just thought i should mention that now we're going to go to papermc.com slash downloads uh copy the link of the blue button at the top go to the terminal create a new folder called uh, minecraft using mkvir cd into it then we're going to go run wget to download the file and then the link that you just copied. And that will download the jar file to install PaperMC. PaperMC is a, like a more optimized Minecraft server. It's kind of like what Optifine is to vanilla Minecraft. Then to install it, we're gonna run java-jar and then the file name of the PaperMC jar that you just downloaded. It'll basically do its thing, downloading the necessary files to run the Minecraft server. And then once it's done, you have successfully installed it. And once it's done, if we run ls to see the contents of the directory, you'll see there's a whole bunch of new files, and the ones we need to pay attention to are eula.txt and server.properties. So let's just uh, go sudo nano eula.txt to edit the eula.txt file. It's kind of like a um, command line terms and conditions agreement, so you need to change the eula value to true instead of false. And then once you're done, you can run Control O and then Enter, and then Control X to exit. Server.properties is where all the settings for your server are stored, and you can customize them to your liking. But the ones that we need to pay attention to are Game Mode, Difficulty, um, Whitelist, MOTD, and things like that. MOTD is like a description for the server, it's the thing that pops up in the server browser. Game mode is obviously what game mode you're on. There's also difficulty, which changes the difficulty. By default this is easy, but you should set this to normal. Um, you can also turn PvP on or off, and whitelist on or off. And you can just go look at the wiki, see things, uh, all, all the different values if you want to, and change them to your liking. Once again, once we're done, we're going to run Control o to save, and then Control x to exit. And then just for ease of use in the future, we're going to rename the long name of the actual jar file from paper blah 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 to just paper.jar. Now finally, it's actually time to set up the server. So we're going to run sudo java-xms5g-xmx5g server.jar, I mean paper.jar, um, no GUI. And change the 5G in both of those things to how many gigabytes of RAM you'd like to dedicate to the server. So basically it's just going to do its thing, um, but this time it's actually generating the world. 
and pretty soon it should be done. And there you go, if you actually put in the local IP, or for me I'm using a cloud server so it's actual IP, um, you can actually log in and access the server. So as you can see, I've, I've logged in. Ignore the, the low frame rate, that's just OBS being uh, laggy. But we're not done yet, so go back to the console and run Control c to close the server. And what we're going to do is we're going to put it inside a Tmux window, which I talked about before, so that it can actually run in the background when you exit from the connection. Just run the command to start the server up again once you're in the Tmux window, and then you should be good. And to exit a Tmux window, you run Control b and then you press D afterwards. To reconnect back to that window, you can run Tmux attach dash session dash t and then the id of that session and to actually see uh, the sessions that are running you can run tmux ls okay so that's the server successfully set up but you saw that we accessed it via its direct ip or its local ip now if you're running this on your local network um, you might be wondering how you can actually get this to other people on the internet to look at and you may or may not have seen other tutorials um, that use something called port forwarding and that basically uh, does expose your router's IP and that's just a part of it um, and there's other tutorials teaching you how to use uh, ngrok to basically hide your IP while, ma while making the Minecraft server um, which I'm actually going to be using but those ones um, they all tell you to use basically the default ngrok URL um, that is given to you and there's two problems with that. The first is that it looks really ugly and if you want your own custom domain then what are you going to do? Um, and also um, the ngrok session will actually expire after two hours so you can't have it constantly running. So if you want a dedicated Minecraft server that is running 24-7 um, and doesn't expose your IP, then this is uh, what this other half of this tutorial is for. So let's get right into the networking stuff. So first we want to go to godaddy.com um, and we're going to create an account if you haven't already. Um, and this is where we are going to buy our domain name. So you can just sign in with Google um, or whatever you want. Email, Facebook, what else? Um, and it takes really quick. Then what we're gonna do is it'll bring this. It'll bring you to this landing page to search for a domain name. And we are going to basically type in whatever dom domain you want. For me, I'm gonna choose some random one like touchgrass.online, um, and it'll have to be available, otherwise can't buy it obviously so you click um, you could continue to cart put your cart um, for this one for one year uh, they're usually really discounted um, so this is like only a dollar 86 for me and remember to uncheck all of the other fluff that comes with it like uh, you know protection stuff blah 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 all that and then remember to set it to one year as well and then you can pay with PayPal or, or a debit card or whatever you, whatever you want. Um, I'm just using PayPal. And then... Once again, it, you know, it, it takes relatively quick. Um, then... I'm thinking what to say. I don't know what to say right now because there's a lot of uh, <laughs> blank silence. Uh, you'll process the order. Take about... 10 seconds and then once it's done once it's done you have your domain <laughs> and now I own a meaningless domain for this tutorial uh, anyway uh, so we're gonna go click uh, I'll do later it'll basically load your dashboard and then 
And there you go. There's your dashboard. But dashboard. But we're not staying there for long. We're gonna go to uh, cloudflare.com. Uh, create an account, just like like we did with Godaddy. Um, and just you know, <laughs> you know how to sign up for things. You can do this on your own. And there we go. Once again, takes pretty quick. And here we are at the Cloudflare dashboard. We're gonna go add site. Enter the domain name that you just bought. And then click add site again. Now, scroll down, click the free plan, continue, and then we can go to continue again, continue again, and then here we go, these are our name servers, these are important. Um, we're going to go back to your dashboard on Gennady, and then we're going to go manage DNS, domains, manage DNS, scroll down, name servers, change, and then... Uh, yeah, advanced, I think it was, I didn't see that properly. We're going to copy our name servers into there, from Cloudflare, and then save, and yes, I want to update name servers, and basically we're transferring our DNS over from Godaddy to Cloudflare, so we can have Cloudflare's uh, perks, basically. We'll go to finish later, and then this can take up to 24 hours, in, I think up to 48. I um, mean, you can check this here. But basically, you'll get an email pretty soon. For me, it was like 10 minutes, and that says status active. So you've successfully transferred your name servers. Now, then we're going to go to ngrok.com, sign up. Three sign ups in two minutes. What's that? <laughs> um, yeah, once again, just, you know how to sign up for things. And then, okay, we're gonna go download for Linux. Copy this link, just like you did with the uh, paper MC thing. Go here, wget this. Let's go back to your root directory first. We're gonna wget that. Download the tgz file. Ta ta file. We're gonna go uh, tar dash xvsf and then the ngrok name, you can just hit tab, ngrok and then tab then you can go, uh, see it's there the ngrok binary which you can just run locally but we're going to move it to the uh, bin directory so we can just run it um, so mv ngrok slash bin and then remember to have sudo permissions then if you run ngrok we have ngrok installed now we're going to run to run ngrok config add auth token, just that command that's there. That's basically going to connect it to our ngrok account so that we can have unlimited sessions, uh, unlimited sessions basically. Um, and then we're going to run ngrok, ngrok tcp 25565, then realize that we have to verify our email. So just go to your email and click on the link that's there. Take you back to that dashboard page telling you that it's verified. Um, and then we can run that command again successfully. So this is basically our ngrok link and if we actually go to Minecraft and put this into the server browser we can connect successfully. And this is without exposing any IPs at all. Now you may be thinking, how are we going to actually map this to a custom domain? Um, I'll tell you that in a second, but first we're going to just put this in a team buck session like we did with the Minecraft server. But now we're going to copy this au 0.tcp blah, blah blah whatever that is, just whatever is before the colon, go to Cloudflare and then the DNS settings of your domain, make a new SRV record, change the name to whatever subdomain you want, that'll be like, you know, play dot uh, touchgrass.online or something like that. Priority zero, wait zero. The port is whatever's after that colon there. And that will change every um, every time you restart ngrok. But the actual URL, which is here, usually doesn't, for me at least. And then, there you go. You've done it. So if you go here, direct connection, and then go play.touchgrass.online dot online or whatever your domain that you bought is 
you can join it and it's a success and once again there's without exposing any IPs at all it's just kind of it's basically routes the traffic through ngrok servers um, so it's kind of like a VPN um, it's probably the best analogy it's called um, network tunneling anyway that's it for now I uh, hope that helped you and yeah I don't really know how to end this uh, so I'm just gonna say goodbye